Welcome to Dumb and Dumb. Dumb and Dumb. Shit. We know life's a bummer. Bummer. It, it was, was a cold, cold summer. summer. But your winner about to be hot like, like your mom's cheese cheese in between the sheets. Turn off the TV and, and turn on me. me. I mean, we, 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 we. R.P. Killer and Vaughn. Vaughn, Vaughn, Vaughn. Shit, I fucked up the song. So, so, so. But it ain't long. Dumb and dumb, you bitch, bitch ass niggas. 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 It's your boy Fat Ass Romeo coming from the motherfucking Dumb and Dumber Radio. It's going to be 30 to 40 degrees out there. And I know all of y'all bumping these sounds in your family vans and your Bluetooth headphones. Well, you tell them, RP Killer. <sighs> That's right. And we're going to hit you guys with the show. And it's about to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to let the motherfucking dogs out. It's RP Killer and Vaughn. We about to hit y'all with another one. St. Louis is where we come from. So now just go and grab your gun. Just like the loaded little hoe. Uh, give me something from the store, little hoe. Switch the ready in this G.O. Just in case your ass ain't no one blowing smoke with my neighbor mad. I'm about to hit her ass with a bowl of dicks and stand on my ten toes and say, Suck this dick. You little motherfucking Karen ass. Booty disgusting ass. Motherfucking uh, cockazoid ass hoe. Bitch, we ain't worrying about y'all ass. We, we, motherfucker, we studying and grinding. Motherfucker, we running our business, nigga. Stay the fuck out of ours. Yo, it's RP Killer and Vine, what it do? What's happening, motherfuckers? It's the Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. Uh, shit, what episode is this? Like 19 or some shit? 18, 19? Uh, yeah, yeah, 19, I believe. Oh, okay. All right, let's see what we doing out 91, here. 91, 91. Right. Well, nah, nigga, for you, it's 92. Yeah, we on 19. So, um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and start off. No, I'm 93. Yeah, whatever, Goofy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off the show. Uh, we've been uh, delayed a couple of times, you know, due to scheduling and shit, but um, we on this we on this goddamn thing. Oh, did they thing. really care? Uh, of course they don't. They just want <laughs> shit. They barely even listen in anyways. Um, right. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the fire. So you know how we were all getting our stimulus checks and shit, right? Right. All right. So some goofy ass uh, congressman suggests that the next stimulus, which is supposed to be 1400 per person, right. even including kids, right. Um, right. should only go to those who get the COVID vaccine. Ah, uh, well, they can keep that. <laughs> they can keep that. Fuck out of here. Nigga, I knew it was a catch. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I ain't sitting all this money out for no reason. Right. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Hey, baby, you going to get this stimulus tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and then, right, end up with something in your ass. Right. Fuck out of here. Hey, but people, I, I, I was waiting on people to start coming out and showing their reactions and shit. There's like this old ass white lady. She ain't that old, but she she older than us. She um she she over there geeking on the couch. She was like, oh, yeah. Jones got the stimulus and she her body out of control and shit. I'm like <laughs> people be out here acting for clout and shit, but who knows? I mean a yeah. lot of a lot of people when they first got that um when they first got the stimulus, oh, not the stimulus, but the vaccines. <laughs> when they got the first stimulus, they fucked their body up. The first, yeah, no. Nah. Right. But what I what I'm talking about is um, the first vaccine. You know, they were testing and stuff. It was giving people Bell's palsy. Are you familiar with that? The what? Bell's palsy. Nah, what's that? So it paralyzes like one side of your face. Or one side of your body. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, I mean, the, yeah, shit, I goes, the shit goes away. So, but, yeah, nah, people are getting bills. I heard positive. that through uh, marijuana that she can cure that shit. Well, with this new marijuana that they're going to be making legal everywhere, it's probably going to get a lot of smokers to stop smoking because once the government gets involved into things, you know, like they got involved in the beer, it, it, niggas yeah, turned yeah, into yeah. alcoholics. Alcohol. Remember, remember how yeah. motherfuckers could drink a beer back in the day? Well, this is before our time, but people can drink alcohol, and they weren't alcoholics like that, dude. Like, people can j- drink a beer and go walk outside and start a gunfight. Yeah. 
Just like with uh, Coca Cola, they put cocaine in that bitch. Yeah, but now cl- clearly they put something more addictive in there than cocaine. Yeah, yeah, it's the fake sugar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all that bleaching and all that. Uh, and pe- it- what? Yeah. Go yeah, ahead. I was gonna say like uh like back in the uh like Kemet days, like Egyptian days or whatever, like like the sugar mm-hmm. like can get you high as the cocaine. Just the pure sugar itself, like it gets you high as the cocaine. Well and like motherfucker just be high as hell off sugar well, check, in Egypt. Well check this out. <laughs> they found on some of the mummies in Egypt had cocaine yeah. in their system. So the cocaine trade been going on a long time, my nigga. Man, who you telling, man? We t- come on now. Yeah, they they think they just now getting their hands on it. We been had our hands on. It. Yeah, but anyway, they just fucked up the science on it. They putting other shit in it. Of course, we well, just did cut, it the purest way. Yeah, you cutting it with rat poison and and and, yeah. and paint thinner and all this shit. But um, yeah, nah, go ahead. You said you got some fire, my nigga. I want to hear that fire. Well, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Well. It's, I'm gonna send you this. Okay, you know about the busted challenge, right? And all that shit. Yeah. It's the porno version of it. Okay. And that shit got sent to me. Hold on, let me find it. And let me send you that shit. Okay. Um. All right. So we'll go ahead and move on from that. Um. God damn. What? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> what was the next thing, bro? So you seen the trailer for King Kong versus uh Godzilla? No, I did not. Did you watch any of the last movies? No, I did not. Nigga, all right. So Godzilla came out. I think yeah. was like 2014 ish. Then uh, <sighs> Kong uh, Skull Island came out like I think a year or two after that. Yeah, both of those movies are connected. Then they added another movie on Godzilla King of Monsters. And then this year, well, 2020, they were supposed to release King Kong versus Godzilla. But, you know, they kept teasing it. They ain't put out no teasers, no trailers, no nothing because COVID, like, fucked all that up. And it's a big CGI movie. Yeah. So, I mean, they can keep doing all the CGI shit. It's just, you know, you got to place the actors in certain areas. Um, but they finally released hey, a trailer. Hey, I got a question 24th. about that. Like, Go uh, I got a question about the CGI shit. When they do the CGI, do they still got to wear masks? Okay, so yes, yes, you do have to wear a mask still. Um, but I mean, they can give you like a green mask and shit. Like with Spider Man, they already like started filming. I think a couple of months ago in Atlanta, that's where they're shooting all yeah. the Spider Man shit, and they yeah. already showed him on set with the Spider Man mask on, with the mask on. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn, they double mask. Yeah. Oh well, that's the that's the new thing now. Since you said double mask. Um, they're telling people to wear two masks now because there's a deadlier strain of yeah. COVID now. Yeah, I, I saw that when I was like going strolling through the news and shit. Mm-hmm. Like St. Louis was like talking about doing that, making it a mandatory habit. Right, that's doing too much, bro. Hold on, man. I went on this damn thing to see it. Why the fuck is taking so long? Well, because technically you're on Discord on your phone, so. Nah, fuck that. You finna get it popping. Right. Anywho, nigga. Um, but yeah, the two mask thing. I mean, technically, I was already wearing two masks or whatever. But yeah, I'm going I'm a officially. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I will wear a mask inside of my cloth mask. So you know, shit don't get by or whatever. About. Hey, know. I want to do the filter count. Uh, the gefilter fish. Uh, yes. Yeah, it does. <laughs> um, but check this out. A lot hey, of places. This shit got sent to you. The uh, a lot of stuff like a lot of places aren't allowing the um, the uh, whatchamacallit, how can I say it? They mm-hmm. aren't allowing the uh, the mask with the actual um, the filter things on it, yeah, yeah. So, um, hold on, I guess. Hey, bro, play that shit through the mic. And um, nigga, let me hear your uh your reaction. Um, I mean that's it's boring, bro. Like I, we talked about this on I like posted a clip about that kind of shit. Like, bro, what? people be extra. Like, leave that shit off the internet, bro. <laughs> 
Like the internet is look the internet and TV. I try to see the other one, but I can't. That shit on Twitter. Look the the internet. What just the link? Just send the link. Um, I I I can't though. That's the thing. No, okay. Twitter on some bullshit. Yeah. So check this out. the The whole thing about it is like it's already oversaturated on TV. It's oversaturated on the internet. It's oversaturated in your yeah. in your life, bro. Like everything is. Has turned it's into porn that. Infested. Yeah, bro. Like, come on. Like, nobody can live a normal life now. Like, like, think about all the troubles in life, bro. Like, if a politician getting in trouble for something, what is it for? Some sexual shit. Even if it could be some pedophilic shit. Nigga, shit it boring. ain't even about embezzling money no more. Like, money is just coming from cover-ups. <laughs> yeah. Bro, like, if, if a sports <laughs> player... task cams. I check this. If a sports player getting in trouble, it's nine times out of ten for drugs or domestic abuse. It's rarely for sex. Um, if a manager at a job getting fired, what is it for? Some say sexual harassment. Bingo, nigga. Like, come on. Like the whole yeah, world. Yeah, because. Is so deprived of. It's like it's in your face. Like the shit needs yeah. to be a mystery again. Like, okay, you okay, of course you need to know what to do or whatever, but like, bro, stop showing this shit. Like, that's all people are good for now. Yeah, like, cause they just put up this little news article, like this uh I think he a coach working at high school or whatever. He's been drugging students and doing sexual shit to him from like oh nine to two thousand fifteen. Well, he got away with it. <laughs> I mean yeah, that's yeah. six that's six years of diddling. So, bro, I don't see, but it, it come on now. A, a student should know when they're getting violated. So, basically, they're I mean, if, the they, student was, if, if they already getting violated at home or they're getting violated by their uh boyfriend or girlfriend at school, hell, they don't even know the difference. Nine times out of ten, these kids already doped the fuck up anyway. So, uh, I mean, they don't they don't know what's going on, or if that's they sad get, to say, though, bro. Like, we living in a whole new world right now. It's either the kids are too pussy or they too drugged up. So, I don't know what the fuck going yeah. on, bro. Like, and they dying quick as fuck. Hey, that's their problem. They should, their parents should have taught them better. That's all it is. Yeah, don't except let, for the babies, though. The babies are excluded. Listen, like, don't let, know. don't let the streets raise your children. You raise your kids. You teach them about the streets, yeah. but don't, don't throw them out there without any guidance into the streets. Um, otherwise, they just look, look. There's, it's sad to just say, like, bro. I think I talked about this on the podcast before. I learned about sex before I learned about books first, which is the saddest thing in the world. So, hey, same here. Yeah. So I figured, nigga, like, I grew up with a fucking teenagers, fucking females. We didn't know all they talked about. Well, or, yeah, that's all my you know, showcase. But yeah. I, I figured, like. Okay, cool. It's good to know what you do. Like, sex ed only lasts like a week in school. In health class, I think it lasts for like three weeks. But, of yeah. course, parents and also teachers need to teach this kind of thing. Well, I wouldn't say get it from the teachers. It's, it should be mandatory for if you made a child, you should be able to teach your child about that kind of stuff. That should literally be a, a course. Yeah. At, at home, a right appropriate at home, they need to teach because you have a, a, a stranger uh, teach your child about this it's not going to be good i mean you can have the, the stranger teach your child that something that they're doing is wrong is actually right so that's how that teacher or that that coach probably got away with it for six years nigga it ain't even the stranger no more it's the strangler <laughs> strangle your kids <laughs> in the doing stuff the strangler boy yeah <laughs> All right, so yeah, but, right, but so that, that goofy ass uh, video you sent me, bro. Like, they they should lead that shit off of like everything, like the challenge, like any challenge, bro. They always gotta put an XXX twist on it. Like, lead that shit, leave, just leave it, bro. Because the whole thing is, you have kids doing this shit now, and then that's when it becomes child pornography, because the kids are gonna be like, oh, maybe I should do that. There's already dudes yeah. online lusting after girls who are uh, 16, 17, and waiting for them to turn 18, bro. Like, that's that's strictly predator. Like, Nigga just like, stalking, yeah. Like, you got the predators that are like, oh, okay, I, I fuck kids. Um, then you got the ones that are like, oh, yeah, I can't wait until she turn 18. Like, come on, nigga. Right. Like, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> 
Like you, I'm gonna be your first. That's like that's like when you waiting you you on a farm and you waiting for the cow to get it turn into a juicy cow so you can either get milk or meat from it. You're like, yeah, right, right. When that cow get oh, I'm gonna feed that cow all that grass, man. That cow gonna get uh, dead. Fuck yeah. Yeah. It's like, uh, come on, you bro. gonna base that cow? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but what I'm what I'm saying, bro, is like. I, <laughs> Like, yeah. bro, people, people are just, you know, a lot of people out here are just predators, bro. Like, and it's not all just about kid shit. Women are predators. Men are predators. Fucking kids are predators, bro. Like, you know, like. What, kids preying on all the kids? Nah, some kids be preying on fucking adults. Like, I'm. I'm oh, like, yeah, that's how I was yeah. when I was a kid. I was preying on adults. I was like, yeah, I can't wait to yo ass. Show me a little something. Listen, I was I was watching a movie with my wife um, the other day. I think it's called like Crazy Sexy Love or something. It had like Steve Carell and uh, oh boy, huh. can't can't do a show yeah, without a yawn, my nigga. Um, it's a um, it's a movie with Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, basically a whole bunch of whites. But anywho, what I'm what I'm trying to say about it is there was the babysitter who was like. 16 16 or 17 and she was babysitting his kids or whatever his wife decided to divorce him because she cheated on him and shit with another nigga that she appreciates so he um, the girl witnessed it because she was like handing the kids over to them and she always had a crush on him so she saw it was her shot so this little girl ended up taking like nude photos and shit and put them in an envelope and i think she was gonna hand them to him but the mom yeah. was still doing like her laundry and shit so she's like putting in her drawers and found the envelope showed the dad the dad went over there trying to fight him he's like he's she's only 16 or 17 and blah 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 and he's like right. whoa i didn't know and she was like he didn't know i didn't tell him so yeah it, it was a it was a mess but yeah it, it's just tons of young kids out here that be preying on adults my dude yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, go ahead, yeah. go ahead. With and you know, saying. yeah, man, uh, that was some heavy shit there. Mm-hmm. I don't think we ever talked about that. What? How kids prey on adults and how adults prey on everybody yeah, kids else? Pray on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, people don't understand that. Like a lot of these kids know what the fuck they be doing, bro. You said they do or they don't. They do. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, once they get conscious of it, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm I'm watching another thing with my wife called uh, United States of Terrorists. This bitch, she has DID, uh, something about dissociating personality. She got multiple personalities, and they take over her body, and they all live their personal lives and shit. But the daughter on the show... Oh, uh, them the freakiest ones. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Anyways, the daughter on there, <laughs> um, she's like, I think she was 16... And she decided to have a sexual relationship with a manager at a restaurant that she worked at. And, I mean, he should know better. Like, okay, if you in your 20s, like, I think he was in his early 20s or mid-20s. Yeah. You shouldn't be fucking with no kid, bro. Like, come on. So, he was, like, falling in love right. with her shit. Like, there's a scene where he, like, comes into her house. Like, everybody just coming into their house, which is the weirdest shit, but... He saw like a baby <laughs> picture, not like a baby picture, but a picture of her as like a little kid on the fridge. And he stole it yeah. off the fridge, bro, and put it in his desk so he can look at it while he at work. So she, he like opened up the desk and the picture was there. She was like, how the fuck did you get that? And he was like, oh, well, I took it off your fridge or whatever. I just thought you were so cute. And she, he was like, I can give it back. And she was like, nah, you keep that. <laughs> Man, yeah, bro. Next topic, bro. So, yeah. uh. Nigga, Illinois woman who lied about having the breast cancers is sentenced to prison, bruh. So she uh she appeared on Dr. Phil's show. She had yeah, she, she had a uh Huh? Yeah, I was about to say the chick that appeared on the uh Dr. Phil, right? Cause Yeah, you know, they, yeah, they, nigga. They called <laughs> they they called the hospital and they were actually, yeah, they called the hospital and I guess she talked to them or had somebody talk to them or whatever. And then they called back for a follow up and they said that bitch ain't worked there. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Bruh, I mean, so listen. She got, she got sentenced to like 18 months, bro. Good. A three year that's fraud. Court suspension, bro. That's fraud. Nah, supervision. That's, that's fraud. She got three years of supervision. Listen, that's fraud and capping, bro. Like, you don't cap about. 
goofy yeah. shit like oh I got cancer so I can get money like I just watched this video of um, this spoiled little goofy bitch uh, I guess she was like a streamer and she kind of like talks like yeah. that and, and like there was <laughs> oh a my girl, god there was a girl on there and I guess she was like oh bitch fix your wig and she was like well I'm wearing a wig cause I don't have any hair I have cancer and she was like ah oh, you're a loser you got cancer and blah 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 and she was like you know <laughs> right so I guess somebody clipped the show and like one day her yeah. dad came in there she like forgot to turn her streaming service off and her dad came in there was screaming and just I guess he was like mentioning names and all that kind of stuff so they sent it to her dad's job and he ended up getting fired so her life fell to shambles, <laughs> bro. God damn! Listen, somebody is always watching. Stupid motherfucker. Somebody is always watching, and somebody always know where you capping. And they always look. There's so much information that's given out. Like, say for instance, between me and you right now, how we're talking on yeah this uh on this podcast. People yeah. can find out where the hell we at. So yeah, yeah. I mean, look, talk about whatever's gonna be one hundred. Don't don't sit here and be like, oh yeah, I shot seven niggas and all that. That's open for FBI Man, no, investigation. Yeah, That's yeah, open bro. for FBI investigation. They gonna find out where you at, boy. Yo, that, yeah, that, boy. that that come up to um, what was that Dana White who's over uh UFC, uh fighting. And I guess he was talking about, like, yeah, and we'll find whoever's doing all this streaming services. Like, who's trying to stream our fights for free and all that? And somebody, like, tried to troll him on Instagram. And they chose a dude who was like, yeah, we got you, bro. So he was like, we got people watching your house, tapping his phone lines. If he streams it, we're going to get get him thrown in a jail and we're going to prosecute. It was like, God damn. Like, bro, you going hard for uh, somebody streaming your fight. It's going to get streamed either way. Like you, what you gonna do for right. people that's in different countries? You gonna try to get them, bro? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take you a long time. Oh yeah, they already done moved out the way. Right. Um. Yeah, bro. That's why I tell like all these motherfuckers that get on, like, bro, not incriminate yourself, nigga. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that's, on this motherfucker and have a good time, bro. Yeah, that's that's, that's like when uh, your partner was talking about, you know that. Um, that party shit, and I was like, uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, bro, I was like, bro, what are you going with this? I'm like, oh, bro, just stop talking, bro. Yeah, I left it on there because he ain't seemed like it was no big deal, but nigga, that. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was goofy as hell, nigga, bro. I was sitting there like, uh, okay, what you, what you, where, where you going yeah. with this, buddy? But, yeah, no, nah, um. All right, so look, bro, so, nigga. Uh, um, St. Charles County man, this nigga is like in his 40s and shit, mm-hmm. is facing charges after leading the police on a chase following an incident on Main Street. That- yeah, your shit just froze, my dude. Yeah. It's police that were patrolling the area in the 200 block of North Main Street. And just before 1 a.m., when they heard gunshots coming from the back parking lot, and then the guy sped away, leading to a, a speed chase. And then they stopped near, like, St. Charles Rock Road and shit. Mm-hmm. And they stopped his ass with uh, spike strips. So they caught his ass right at the exit, throwed him down spike strips out, and he didn't even stop. Right. So, nigga, yeah, man, I don't, they, I don't know who the fuck he was shooting at. I don't know if... The, but I want to know, like, okay, if they heard gunshots, like, did they go check out who got hit? Or did they just follow that nigga all with the same told my bro? suspect. We got to go follow up on the suspect. We'll find all that shit out later. That's 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 how most Right, but um, what police... if the victim was, like, bleeding and shit? Then, like, when you get there, you're like, oh, he died. But we couldn't hey, say hey, Ain't nobody called it in. <laughs> that's all they can go by. <laughs> ain't nobody called it in. Hey, if you would have called it in, uh, we would have been there, you know, an hour later. Right, right. Right. Or he could have just, you know, like, you know, hey, you know, I ain't bust this motherfucker in a while, and then we just lick a few shots. Bow, bow. All right, don't get the fuck out of here. Nope. Nigga, your ass. Well, Cops is right behind you, them cherry right. lights. But yeah, you, you was talking about that, how you did that shit before. How you went out and pop pop <laughs> and, and the neighbors told, or, or neighbors. Bro, that shit was like, huh? 
you said the neighbors told or they complained or something. Nah, nah, nah. They ain't, they ain't never told or complained. That was like, bro, I this was like six years ago. So like, uh, staying with Robin as mm-hmm. her, uh, she had a balcony, and it was facing towards the woods and shit. So, nigga, I first got my gun and shit. Got that mom. Uh, and then we bust this motherfucker. So like, I used to bust out, outside and shit. So, and then go back in the house. So one particular day, nigga, it was night. And I was like, man, don't hit this motherfucker before I go to bed. <laughs> and then, like, I lit that motherfucker. Bow, bow. And then, like, the neighbor was like, what was that? Like, because he stayed under, he lived, he lived underneath. And, like, he was like, baby, what was that? You heard that? And I ran back in the house. And then I came outside. And then he was like walking like up the stairs and shit. Yeah. Cause he stayed downstairs. So he was like, I caught him like right at the stairs. He was like, hey man, did you hear that? I'm like, yeah, man, I did, man. I think they went that way. You stupid <laughs> bro. Hey, this <laughs> but, like, Let me bust this motherfucker real quick. <laughs> yeah, I was like, ba, ba, ba. He was like, baby, what was that? I was like, oh shit, I'm going back to the house. <laughs> hey man, that would have been crazy. <laughs> like yeah, he bro. on the door like, hey bro, are you guys good? <laughs> he was like, Hey, y'all guys good? Hey man, yeah, that was uh it was three guys. Uh yeah, man. Three guys, yeah, one pancake. Yeah, man, and a sausage. That nigga ran with a sausage. Oh that's... and it was a raccoon that was with him too. So oh no. Ahead. No, that's crazy. Um yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, um Shit, so how's uh how's how's things going over there, man? You ain't gotta shut down again, do you? Uh man, it, it snowed fucking uh yesterday. Oh yeah. How while I was inches? at work. And even before I went to work. Uh I think we got like probably like three inches, maybe. Yeah. But like, you know, it didn't stick and none that shit like that. But it did snow hard as hell. Yeah, I feel you, man. Hey, on my hey, so like yesterday, right, when I was on my way to work, yeah, and like it's this hill that I gotta go up on. Cause I'm driving on Limburg to go to my job, so it's just multiple hills you gotta go up and down. Yeah. So going up a hill and like I'm going, you know what I'm saying? It's snowing and shit. It's, it's hella snow on the ground. So I see this Corvette, this white Corvette, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, the new one, right? Yeah. Why this motherfucker back end was like lifted off the ground? This motherfucker trying to go. This nigga was in the ditch and he tried to go. But the the you see the back tire just like up in the air. I'm like, then that's sad. Yeah. But oh, so, so he because like so why the fuck so you drove a Corvette in the snow? So yeah, exactly. But that's probably he probably was like, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and splurge, and then it snowed. He was like, God. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a female though. Hey man, she probably was like, "Baby, buy me a Corvette," and then she don't know how to drive. She probably ain't putting them all all season uh, tires on there. No, nah, I think she probably owned that church that she was coming out of that parking lot on. Cause, uh, hey, so she, she was so, so she tried to show, so she tried to light the streets up and lit up the ditch. <laughs> she was bad at yeah, pretty much. Hey, and, she, and and she caused a lot of fucking traffic. I know that. Hey, she would be glad she ain't fall into the uh, into like a lake or whatever, cause she would have been done for real. Hey, that bring me back to uh that note that last snowstorm we had. I think it was like two years ago, mm-hmm. 2019 or something like that. So like I'm riding the van, right? So I'm, I'm leaving work, and like I gotta go down the hill. Yeah. But going down the hill is a lot of traffic because it yeah. snow real bad, and it's like motherfuckers just crashed and slid off the road. So I'm waiting on it's my turn to go. I'm gonna hit this exit coming up. But everybody trying to go to the exit, but the, everybody kept getting stuck. So people was like getting out of their car and helping them push the car up and shit. Mm-hmm. So it was my turn to get up there. And then it was this fucking Camaro already up there, but it was stuck. It was like trying to slid out the snow and shit. My ass, yeah, with the damn van. And like they got mad. The lady hang out the window. Why the fuck would you do that? Huh? I'm like, man, look. Hey, I gotta get home the same way y'all gotta do. So like, yeah, you know, I made their ass stuck even more. Hold on, wait, you 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 drop snow on them, my dude. Yeah, bro. Like the van was like so damn wide and big, like it just it put extra snow on the tires, so they got stuck even more. Hey, that's messed up, bro. <laughs> and then the female hanging out the window. Why the fuck would you do? <laughs> you should have been like, excuse me. 
Oh, hey, you kept, hey, bro, you kept it going? was so fucked up. It was like so slow motion, bro. All I did was look at it out the window and kill driving. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Hey, but hey, that's karma, bro. You you caught that karma later on, though. Uh, I probably did. Uh, I remember, like, I think we were supposed to be doing a show or something, and your car had broke down or something on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, my car, bro, this is like the, this is like the second time a car broke down on me on the highway, bro. Like, but look, the, the trip thing about it, it's the same area. That's like the like my very first car that I got from Tony Baloney and shit, mm-hmm. that motherfucker stopped on the highway at this particular area. And then when I get my second car, that car I got now, yeah. this motherfucker did the same thing in the same area. Nigga, you got scared. You thought it was a setup. Nigga, I thought that shit was about to blow up like the last car. I'm like, <laughs> oh no, not again. You th- hold on, wait, the first car almost blew up? Bro, the first car started smoking underneath the hood. I was like, damn, this bitch when it caught on fire. So I had to hurry up and pull over and I let that bitch sit. I ain't had no water, none. I hope it didn't caught on fire, but it didn't. Oh, man. It was just smoking. Because I ain't. I don't think I gave it an oil change in like a year. So <laughs> that motherfucker was like smoking it. Like when I was driving, I felt like I uh, ran over something. It was like a bump. Yeah. And then that motherfucker just started smoking. <laughs> it started going. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That motherfucker was, oh man. That's crazy. All right, go ahead. Go ahead and go with some of this heat you promised. All right, right, so uh, St. Louis based energy drink has ingredients linked to a heart attacks and seizures, my nigga. So the government warns about this. Uh, I'm, I'm getting to it. Yeah. So the government warns about this energy drink called Green Gorilla Root Juice. Green Gorilla Root Juice. Never heard of it. And its list in health benefits includes a claim that it is heart healthy. But the two government advisors say different. A joint regu- regular, uh, where the fuck that word is, investigation, both foods and drug uh, administration. And what the fuck? Missouri Department of Health uh, put in a lab test and it indicated that the juice contains a substance called Yohimbine, nigga? Hold on, it's Yohimbine? Yohimbine. Y-O-H-I-M-B-I-N-E. Let's see. Yohimbine. A toxic crystalline compound. And it's associated with heart attacks. From the bark of a Yohimbi tree used as a uh, a renogenic blocking agent and also treatment for impotence. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know. Bro. Yeah, so it's saying it's associated with a heart attacks and seizures and other side effects. Yeah, so, that's, that's nuts, bro. Yeah, man, be looking out for the energy drink. Hey, it's but, fucking called gorilla, green gorilla root juice. But that would be the the same shit that's uh 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 was it sildenafil? That's the same shit that they got in like um <sighs> Viagra and um and Cialis mm. to make what? it yeah yeah that's uh. It's like a stimulant. It's supposed to uh, block particular receptors that increase sympathetic nervous system output, and give you more adrenaline, yeah, um, thus more increased metabolism. But I don't know, bro. That's right. uh, that's that look like something I'm I'm staying away from. Like I always thought, like, yeah, totally. hey man, if you want like the the over uh, the extra edge to um. You know, put some of that uh, extra meat in her system. Um, yeah, go ahead and get you some of that uh, some of that blue pill, but extra meat, extra meat. But I don't know, bro. Like nigga, that shit came from the prison, nigga. <laughs> what extra meat? Yeah, nigga. <laughs> meat concealed pack from the straight from the prison. Yeah, that's crazy. Anywho, um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Um, uh, I, I think if you got like heart issues or whatever, you shouldn't really be fucking around with like energy drinks, anyways, or anything right. that's like like ADD. Well, or ADHD. 
not even that, but like any caffeine, anything that can increase your heart rate when it's like blocked, bro. Like he imagines so much blood trying to get to your heart and it's clogged. Like, come on, bro. Like that's Nigga. that's that's, yeah. that's that's literally like that traffic jam you was talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All them damn cars in the way, you ain't going nowhere. See, the snow mm-hmm. is the blockage. And the car is yeah, the nah, just, so Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, that way, nigga. Yeah. All right, look, so drink you so, drink you uh, some um uh, some tart cherry juice and that should help clear some shit up. But go ahead. Yeah, don't just or just drink, you know, your daily blood, which is water. Just drink fucking water. Because that's what your body contains of anyway, and that's what your blood is made of. So right. just drink your damn water. All right, keep going. All right, so uh, a group to no longer fund aerial surveillance over cities, bro. So Baltimore Sun reports that this nigga named Arnold Ventures said it would not be funding a, a proposed aerial surveillance program in St. Louis. The surveillance program is closed to the final vote by the St. Louis Board of Artsmen. That program will be uh, conducted by persistent surveillance systems and shit. So I was like, I, when I was reading it, I was like, what the fuck is aerial, bro? Then I looked it up, man. It's a fucking military operated force ship deal with battlefield surveillance and aerospace surveillance and shit. I'm like, who the fuck got trying to go to war on? Uh, on their own civilians, bro. I know, but it's like, God damn, they saying that they not doing it, but come on now. Them niggas already did it. I mean... Them niggas is doing it right now. Yeah, they they been doing it over time, though, but like, since most yeah. of these operations are getting exposed, they have to really come out and talk about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like, oh, cover has been blown. Fellas, we gotta go to war with our own. Well, not even with our own, with the blacks, because they're going to go to us first. Uh, yeah, you definitely going to get rid of all the brown people first before you <laughs> Like, check out what they do to other countries, bro. Like, any brown country. Like, you, you don't see them running up in any white countries, do you? You see how everybody's scared yeah. of Russia? That's tons of white people, bro. Russia, yeah. I mean, yeah China. They, they, oh, they, yeah. they ain't running up on Britain no more. They ain't running up on France. They ain't running up on Germany. But they these brown countries that really can't defend themselves, bro, they'll run up in there. Like right now, they got all these uh lawsuits going his uh his wife because they going over there um forcing vaccines on people. So, yeah, like how they doing with Africa. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's that's the original brown country. So countries yeah. as I should say, the brown continent. Um Yeah. Which is bigger there. than all the rest of the continent. Yeah. They just make it look small on the yeah. map. But Africa is, or Al Kebulan is basically a collection of countries, and they're going in there enforcing their vaccines on people. That's just like with Nestle. Nestle owns yeah. mostly all the water in the world, bro. Like Nestle is really got they 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 went in there and bought up all the water, bro. The motherfuckers that make chocolate. Yeah, well, they they produce. Some chocolates. They don't produce all chocolate. Well, but, I mean the the the, the crunch uh, candy bar. Well, and nigga, shit, all your little that's candies ne- and all well, that. It's not the candy is a side hustle, bro. Water is the the primary. So like they own Zephyr Hills Water. They own Nestle Pure Life. They own tons yeah. of water, bro. Like they source water out to other places. So. Like what they and do, water trash. What they do, well, definitely the uh, the pure life. Like I drink the spring water, which is probably just tap water, anyways. But anyway, right. the um, what they do is they go to these other countries and they give them like all the the baby formula because Nestle has baby formula too. So they go in there and give yep. them the 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 brown countries these baby formulas for free, and they require water. The whole thing is. Women naturally produce milk, so they give them this baby formula forever to the point where their milk dries up, and yeah. they now need the water and now need the formula. I mean, come on, you're a parent. You know how much a small can of baby formula is, bro? Like, that's 20 yeah. plus $30. Like, come on. Bro, bro, bro look. And a baby, Wait, will go through born, that. Right? a baby will go through that can in, like, a couple of days. Yeah. 
So hey, bro, when my when my baby girl was born, right, I made her mama breastfeed. Like, nigga, I was like, hey, get this damn pump, nigga. We finna pump all this shit out. Fuck that formula. Yeah. Nigga, I wanna work at a time. Right. I was like, hey, this this breast milk is free. Exactly. So, but then her mama had caught pneumonia at the time, so we had to stop. And then we had to get on the damn formula. So that was fucked everything up. Mm-hmm. But she was on the breast milk for, like, months. Like, till almost till she was, like, almost one or some shit. Yeah. And then she caught the pneumonia. Then we started going on that formula shit. But yeah, yeah, that's crazy, bro. But yeah, and plus you're supposed to get like you know um, better. Uh, how can I say better development from a child once they uh, do the breast milk or whatever? But yeah, yeah they, they go in and they they hustle hustle all the resources out of these people, man. Because like they a lot of these countries don't have clean water, bro. So. And, and hey, that's, did that's, they uh did they really uh did they fix Flint, Michigan water and shit? Or that shit still fucked up? Uh phew. let's let's look it up real quick. Yeah. Yeah, because that's crazy, bro. I, I highly doubt. I know they were talking about this was something what happened when uh Obama was in, but um let's see if they ever fixed it. Oh yeah, yeah. It started in it started in two thousand fourteen. <laughs> And lasted until what 2019. Ah, oh, the so that's the, a whole, that's a whole five Michigan. years, bro. Yeah. Oh, so somebody actually got a year probation and 300 hours of community service and a fine of twelve hundred dollars, which was uh, Kareen Miller, former state epidemiologist, sentenced to Flint water crisis. Uh, da, 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 criminal probe. Yeah, she. Damn was, man, she, so that nigga got caught in some scam shit. Nah, nah. So it was just a white bitch who really ain't really give a fuck, and <laughs> she, she, she got minimum time. So yeah, yeah, three uh, a twelve hundred dollar fine, um, three hundred dollars, uh, three hundred hours of community service, bro. That, yeah. that ain't that ain't shit. <laughs> so, hey. Hey, bro. Hey, so let me hold up. Something just came back to me. Go ahead. So, the uh, about the woman that lied and said she had fucking cancer and shit. Yeah. So, uh, I was listening to Tariq Nashi, right? Like one of his old uh podcast shit, and he was saying like how it's a lot of white people out here that do cosplay to get over on the government. Like they do that shit constantly. Yeah. Like how she did with the cancer shit. Yeah. Like how she. Supposedly got over, mm-hmm. like it's a a lot of these motherfuckers out here that get over on the government real quick. Like they say they this and that, but you know then they turn around and like like how he said for like Rockefeller and them, like how that nigga like he'll be selling medicine, and then next thing you know he'll sell some other shit, but play like it's you know man that shit crazy man. Yeah, man. Look, check this out. So a lot of people, what they do, um, they even got like some documentaries and like some TV series based on like situations like this. But there's there's people out there that be out there stealing kids and raising them, making them believe that they got a disability their whole life when they can actually walk, talk and all that kind of stuff. And they be drugging these kids and, you know, because they, they want somebody to rely on them. They want somebody to believe that they are uh, better than what they are. They're something. And then when people figure out what the hell is going on, they'd be like, man, I got to get away from this person. Right. Like, come on. There's there's tons of people that keep their kids up under them their whole entire life and make them believe that they ain't shit without their mama or they ain't shit without their daddy. Then they get out into the real world. I'm like, man, what you talking about, bro? You good. <laughs> <laughs> right. You need to get the fuck away from that person. Right, right. Yeah, but yeah. You think a lot of uh you think a lot of black folks do that to their kids? Like nigga, people do that to a lot of black feet, you know, black black feet. <laughs> a lot of black, black folks, feet. <laughs> they um black foot. All they want they kids. There is a do. tribe called Black Foot though. Yeah, I know nigga. Uh check this out. But there's tons of black people out there that just want their kids to live comfortable, racism free. Um Prejudice free, uh, cop free lives. Uh, that's probably like the biggest concern right there is murder, cops, and racism. Other than that, yeah, like prejudice, raising your kid to not be a drug addict or to be addicted to anything that's secondary. 
But I'll go to jail. Yeah, with everyone else out here, they just hustle, hustle, bro. Like, oh yeah, man. If you, if you got some, man, you better take advantage of it. Like, there's a joke. Um, Patrice O'Neill got. Um, um, Rest in it? peace. Yeah, there's. Um, damn, I'm getting all these notifications now. Man, I don't fuck with Postmates. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so. So the nigga joke is like, um, he's like, man, I'm dying from diabetes. He was like, you know, if I had some money out there and I could raise some money or whatever, he was like, I'd raise money for my disease. My disease is diabetes. So why the, why mm-hmm. the fuck am I going to raise money for something else? So he was like, you think if, right. if uh, Michael J. Fox didn't have Parkinson's, he would care about something else? I, I think I'm fucking the joke up, but he was like... Well, he was like, he has Parkinson's, so why why the fuck should I care about if you got cancer or not? He was like, that's not my disease. Like, imagine if a if um if you got a disease and a celebrity, a famous celebrity, ain't got it. He was like, your ass is done. <laughs> he was right. like, but if you got Parkinson's or whatever, you gonna get treatment. So yeah. right. Yeah, he was talking about like it all depends on who got the same, who got the same disease or who claimed they got the same disease as you. So right, yeah, man, I'm getting notifications out. Yeah, yeah, you fucked that joke up. Yeah, you you would have to listen to it for yourself, bro. Um, yeah, he probably turned over his grave yelling, "Yo, what the fuck you doing? That's not how- <laughs> well." Another reason why I kind of like purposely fucked the joke up because I don't want nobody to be like, yo, he out here stealing Patrice O'Neill jokes like uh, Hot Damn I Rock. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot Damn I Rock. Yeah, kind of comedians be on that shit. Well, no, that was a famous YouTuber like a minute ago. Um, yeah, I know that. I'm talking yeah. about just the fire well, that's stealing me, let me, shit. Let me, let me fucking explain the story, nigga. The nigga was doing all the jokes <laughs> like Amy Schumer be doing. And somebody, like, I guess they was like, somebody heard it who was like a Patrice O'Neill fan. He was like, yo, that's Patrice O'Neill jokes, nigga. And then they it started a cult following, like, hey, bro, this nigga doing Patrice O'Neill jokes, bro. And then he had, he had like, disappeared from the internet for a minute, bro. Right. Like, of he, course. First, first, he had to come out and talk about, like, yeah, yeah, of course, I, I took the jokes or I reworded the jokes or whatever, but... Come on, bro. Once a joke is established, anything that's online, bro, and you say it, and somebody not said it before, bro, like, like I always give my sources. Like when I was talking about the forty dollars thing with your cousin, man, I was like, bro, I yeah. heard so and so say this. I'm not gonna be like, yo, I came up with it. I heard so and so say this. It's the funniest shit right. in the world to me. So I don't know, bro. Like it's it's hard for people out here to claim originality. And yeah, that's why I purposely messed the joke up. But anywho, keep going. It's all gravy, bro. I get it, bro. Like oh, yeah. I'm, I'm trip off of it. Yeah, I get it though. Of course, but I like. But to, hey, so like to so it. yeah, of course you do. You a fucking teacher. <sighs> Continue. <laughs> all right, so look, bro. <laughs> all right, look, so nigga. In St. Louis, bro, like, you know, we have, like, our things of saying shit yeah. versus, like, the out-of-towners that come in. Yeah. So, like, I was looking on the online and shit. They had put up this list. It ain't too many words, but, you know, it was talking about how we pronounce it and how out-of-towners pronounce it. Mm-hmm. And motherfuckers already know I was slang how we say der, were, her, all that shit. Yeah, er, so, all the ers, nigga. Yeah, all the ers and shit and dirty and shit. Yeah. So, um... Uh, so basically, uh, it's just a uh, little town called Bell Fountain in St. Louis County. It's called Bell Fountain, right? Uh-huh. But like how we say it is, we separate the word Bell and Fountain. Mm-hmm. So we will say Bell, and then we will say Fountain. So we separate that word, bro. Right. And then like it's this other uh, street called uh, I don't even know how to fuck to pronounce it. I know it's a, a fucking native word, but it's. Is uh Chutu Avenue, nigga? That's how I said, mm-hmm. and it's on. It's in the city and shit. But we call it like Shoto, Shoto, uh, Shoto. Like spell it. But it's spelled like like S H O U T E A U. How do I? Hold on, let me let me write that down real quick. How do I? All right, spell it one more time. 
C H O U T H O U. Yes. Yes. Yeah, C H O U T E A U. T E A U. So Chateau. Yeah. Right, Chateau. Yeah. But we say show toe. Like the word show and then toe. Yeah, show toe. Yeah, yeah, show toe. So, show toe. Yeah, because T E A U is definitely toe. So yeah, yeah. Let's let's see how they pronounce that shit on the internet. This shit don't even come out right. What the fuck is this goofy? Ass? Fuck no, nah, it ain't. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I ain't even going too deep into it. But yeah, yeah. Go yeah, ahead. yeah. Fuck all that. So and then the next word, you know, it's just uh. Fucking town called Florissant in St. Louis County. It's Florissant, but we call it Flor, like Florissant, like how you like say the Florissant blood bubs, nigga. Yeah, Florissant. Like the bub, like Florissant. Yeah, blur, Florissant blub, nigga. Mm-hmm. Now that's how we say Florissant. Some would say some. Some say it the right way. Some say it the other way. Well, that's, and then that, you know you got. Well, that's like the same thing with like when I have a bunch of people from Kentucky staying for like you know sports games. And they be like, yeah, we're from Louisville. And I'd be like, where the fuck is Louisville? And I'd be like, I'm thinking like Lil Duval and all that kind of shit. Nah, they, they talking about yeah. Louisville. Louisville is Louisville. Yeah. Louisville. Louisville. Of course. Louisville. Or when you get somebody else, like I get some people from Louisiana, and they'd be like, yeah, I'm from Louisiana. And then some people are going like, yeah, I'm from Louisiana. So yeah, yeah. It all it all Louisiana. depends, man. And it's like the whole thing about lingo and dialect from wherever you're from. It all just, I guess, depends on the group of people there, man. That's all it is. But somebody yeah, who's an yeah. outsider is, of course, gonna be like, man, all them ers, theirs, and hers, man. Why can't you say here and there, bro? And I just like just figured it out. Like, where the fuck we get all that shit from? Like, we really got that shit from because we were slaves back then. Like, we really the fucking poor, poor fucking white people taught us how to fucking speak the language. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's why we get all the earned, earned, you know, that shit sound country as hell. Yeah. Yeah, it all depends on where so you're like, from. Because a lot of us aren't originally from there. Like, we all started from, well, the people that were brought over here were... Um, Which is a small percentage. Yeah. Were, were mostly based in, like, the 13 colonies and then down into the south and whatever. And then niggas ain't yeah. really start moving into other places until like the late 1800s. So Right. That's when they freed. Well, not only freed, but I mean, that's when they started migrating. Like a lot of people migrated towards the west, like California, Texas, all that kind of stuff. Uh, some people yeah. migrated to the and north. And then they didn't even let... They didn't even let black people stay in certain towns. You had to still go find another town to stay in. Yeah, they they introduced like redlining and all that kind of shit. But yeah, yeah, all the lingo shit. Uh, look, I don't even have an accent, so I'm I'm a little disappointed about that. But continue. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you know how you got Mosca Moscacholi, right? So we say Muscacholi. Uh huh. Yeah. Muscacholi, nigga. What, what the fuck is and- Muscacholi or Moscacholi? It, that's how we say it, bro. What is it? That's what I'm asking. The, you don't know what Monster Charlie is? No. Nigga, that's the uh, the fucking the uh, the little fool you bad. The what? like lasagna, but it's Monster Charlie. Yeah, I've never heard of that ever, bro. <laughs> like never. That sound like some Macaulay Coke and con shit. You never heard? So you man, go ask your mama, man. Nigga, no. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Look, I'm, I already right, so got fish got, and spaghetti, uh, my nigga. We... You said what? I already got fish and spaghetti. I don't need no muscatelli. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, get that muscatelli, nigga. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, keep, keep going. Next subject. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, Spo Road. Uh, we say uh, some say Spady, Spody, and some say Spady. I don't know what the fuck that is. And then we got the famous Gravoys. Uh, some we say Gravoy. We don't say Gravoys. It's Gravoy. That's a street on the south side. Oh. And then the highway called I forty four. Right? We called it Forty Four. 
Okay, so the the far forty four. Yeah, yeah, that all that's all um, depending on people. Like, like instead of saying four, it'd be like yeah, four. So yeah, four. Yeah, yeah. So that that all depends on how you were raised and where you heard the lingo from first. Mm -hmm. So I mean, most of my stuff who are, raised you? <laughs> <laughs> well, the famous T K Kirkland one, right? But anywho, what's the next subject? Nigga? <laughs> you got to wrap. It all up. right, so <laughs> all right, so look, so there are ten. Well, you know, this is for the people that was like growing up in the eighties and shit. Yeah. So like, but it's so St. Louis nostalgic. So like, uh, you know, I'm well, I I probably witnessed like one or two of these, but like at the end of the shit. Mm -hmm. So, uh, nigga, I didn't know that we had a floating McDonald's in the 1880s, bro. Like on the river of St. Louis, and it was like it was like by the uh by the arch. Oh, um, so well, that's probably was, that's probably because they have a casino over there, don't you? Like a casino boat. Uh, I think so. Yeah, we had a lot of them, but I, I don't remember seeing. But they saying that it closed. In the year of 2000. So it been out for like 20 years. And I still haven't. I don't. Bro, I don't even remember if I've been on that motherfucker. Because mm. McDonald's was big. And I'm pretty sure everybody would have been on that bitch. Right. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, hold on, I'm seeing your picture of it. To let you see how it look. Yeah. Hey. They already released footage from the new Mortal Kombat movie, my dude. Yeah, nigga. I saw that. Yeah, Sub Zero. This this nigga look cold, boy. I saw that. Yeah, I think they got uh, Scorpion on there. Sonya Blades, of course, just generic white woman. Um, <laughs> generic. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people be generic white people, bro. So, uh, did you get it? You get the pigeon? Yeah, that's that. That looked like the casino boat, bro. Oh, okay. Well, I, probably, uh, I mean, they showed it that way. So, I don't know. Maybe that was in the 80s when they took that picture. Yeah. They look at them damn cars. And, and, nigga, you said, nine, you said 1880s, bro. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't no color. <laughs> I mean, 1980. You know what the fuck I mean, nigga. Nah, boy. Anyways. Yeah. All right. So, oh, boy, boy. Uh, another spot that was uh, in St. Louis that was found in the 50s called Grandpa's Pigeons. Oh. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, it might have been a fucking first Radio Shack. I don't know. Uh, and then the Magic House when it was only one house, so it was just this little a mansion ass big ass house that was called the Magic House. You know, before they moved it to over there on Kings Highway and shit by the Science Center. Uh. So, uh, and then you know the Saturday morning cartoons and shit. And then this the one that I can't remember. Like I remember we used to go to Union Station, right? That's over there in downtown. Yeah. That's the movie. And they had the movie theaters over there. And they had uh uh what you call it, the rock cafe mm -hmm. over there. And inside of that building they had like this little fudge singing motherfuckers. Like they'll sing and make fudge right in front of you with this big ass paddle and shit. Like I remember seeing that as a little kid. And then um you got the uh, Crestwood Court Mall. I don't remember that. Hey, uh, are you just giving St. Louis news, my dude? <laughs> what the fuck? You said what? Are you just giving St. Louis news or facts, bro? Like uh, I'm trying to figure. Nigga, out this is doing. like the, this is like historical moments for like motherfuckers that that would grew up in the eighties and shit. Or whatever, but I, I can know. only like listen, test the one of it because I remember listen, like one of the listen, shit. I don't know shit about the eighties, nigga. My daddy, nothing. All right, so the 80s, all right, so look, so the reason why I'm bringing 90s. it up because <laughs> nigga, look, listen, boy. Go ahead. So look, the reason why I'm bringing it up because this shit like was sync like this is like it synced with me real good because like it was this uh, game show. Well, it was a quiz show called DB's Delight in a fucking. 70s through the 80s and shit and it was like basically like these little kids on the show with this puppet and they going against different St. Louis uh schools and shit. So like it was a game show and then I thought back like nigga I just made a game show. So I was like wow that shit crazy. Hold like, on I'm gonna send it to you. Nigga you just did this long ass build up. You literally jerked me off for fucking 30 minutes <laughs> and it was like oh uh, I left my oven on at home. 
Uh, I'll hit you back later. You bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm not watching this shit. <laughs> hey, nigga, it's the hey, bro, bro. Well, I mean, whenever you get in time, nigga, watch that shit. I ain't saying watch the whole thing. I'm just saying, like, just look at it. Nigga, you fucking retarded, bro. Like, I literally thought you was building up to some goofy shit. Nigga, you made a game show commercial. I understand that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> right, but like, I didn't know. But I didn't know that such a thing like that existed. So by me discovering that. Christopher Columbus uh, discovered. Uh, yeah, nigga, I wanted to show that. Nigga, I hope you stub your toe when you get off the show today. Nigga, I hope you get hit by a bus. Oh, I do have to go to work, so that's possible. <laughs> that's not yours. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're going to go nigga, ahead and wrap up the show bite, today. Because we, we on an hour mark now. But, um, yeah, go ahead and plug uh, what you got going on. Uh, nigga, I just uh, ordered these shirts that it just came in. The motherfucking fat ass nigga just dropped the box on the porch like a bitch. But it's all gravy. He ain't even ring the doorbell. Okay, bitch ass nigga. Uh, so we're going to start making the, uh, that's, uh, your, you lunch guy shirts. Uh, I already posted a video up about the, uh, two stories I told about the seagull attacking Kareem and you lunch guy story. Um, at the end of the, yeah, at, the yeah, end of the, at the end of the video, it actually shows Javon um, modeling the shirt at the end, uh, looking uh, ashy as shit. But yeah, if you guys go out there, go ahead and <laughs> cop, go ahead and cop the shirts. They're gonna be fifteen dollars each. Uh, they come in all sizes. So go ahead and start putting your orders in today. Send an email to uh, ooh killacam fifteen oh eight at gmail dot com. Um, Bitch I, I answer my emails uh, basically 24 hours a day. So, um, yeah, go ahead and send that email if you would like that shirt. It has um, um, two characters from uh, a particular show that's on a particular network that I will not mention because I'm not trying to get sued. Um, but, yeah, yeah, we'll have some more uh, shirt ideas. Welcome Nagas and Dark Side Raiders and STLians. I am your host, Von the Dark Lord, and this is Who Pussy Is This Game Show. We have three contestants, Stinko, King the Simp Lord, and Fat Ass Romeo. Now Nagas, you must guess whose pussy is this by the woman's voice and the type of lifestyle she lives. Contestant Sink Stinko, guess whose pussy is this? Uh, well... I like to take long walks up and down Newstead, be helpful to the community, and I like to bust it open for Jesus, and I like a card in the smokes. Now, Stinko, you have 30 seconds to guess whose pussy is this? Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, man, that's, uh, oh, uh, shit, uh, uh, oh, shit, that's, uh, oh, that's, oh, that's, uh, that's, that's Blowjobs, uh, Sandy. You are correct there, Stinko. Congratulations. Now, on to our next contender. Um, I don't have any hobbies. I just want a man to help me with my bills and thrills because a bitch is out here struggling for real. Well, Ken the Simp Lord, guess whose pussy is this? You have 30 seconds to guess. Uh... Oh uh, shit. Uh uh Oh yeah, that's uh overbite Kim. And you are correct there. Now on to our next contender. Um I really enjoy yoga, reading books. Um I really uh very uh outgoing. Uh I love to laugh. Uh I just want to enjoy my life and give my soul to the dark lord oh i bet you will now fat ass romeo you have 30 seconds to guess whose pussy is this uh, shit shit hey 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 i need some help god damn uh uh oh i know uh no hair don't care patrice 
Uh, I am sorry there, fat ass Romeo. That is incorrect. That is very well incorrect, sir. Thanks everyone for tuning in to Whose Pussy Is This? I am your host, Bonnie Dark Lord, and we want to have, you know, a good time on the show. So, everyone that is watching and listening, have a good day and be safe and stay dangerous. Stick up. Take your fucking clothes off right the fuck now. Put your money in this fucking Jesus basket. Motherfucker, hurry up because you look good. Motherfucker. Hey, bitch, where the fuck you going? Get my motherfucking rings and things. Bitch, I need that right now. Cameraman, you too.